everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and unfortunately I have to announce that due to circumstances beyond my control, I do not have a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review video for you today. And I apologize for that. You guys deserve better than that. In fact, I've said before that you guys deserve my best effort all the time. So when I can't come through for you and provide a, a video review on schedule, um, that, that really hurts me and I, I apologize. You guys deserve the best video that I can produce every week. So uh, unfortunately, since I don't have a full review for you, I'm going to try to kind of make up for that by uh, giving you three shorter videos, starting with this one. This is going to be a quick shot of the 1987 Techno Viper. The other two videos will be um, kind of updates on the channel and the website. Those are videos that I've been intending to do for a while, but I hadn't gotten to them. So I'm going to get to those today, and hopefully that'll kind of make up for not having a full review for you today. This Techno Viper is special. It was sent to me by a viewer, Zartan121, along with a very nice note, uh, and I have to say thank you to Zartan121 for sending this to me. That really means a lot to me. I mean, it's it's viewers like Zartan121 and you guys that really get it and appreciate it and show your appreciation that keep me motivated to make these videos, and I want to make sure that I express to you how much I deeply appreciate that and Zartan 121 it is my privilege to look at this very nice Techno Viper that you sent me. So let's look at this guy. The first thing you notice is the deep purple color scheme with silver highlights and some black details around it. Now normally purple is kind of an off-putting color for me but I really don't mind it for the Techno Viper uh, basically because he's a technician. He is a battlefield technician so he will be on the battlefield sometime but you can see this guy really uh, maybe mostly uh, hanging around the terror drone you know fixing things repairing equipment uh, and that would be the role that I would usually use the techno viper in and for that this color scheme is fine I really don't mind it at all and the silver really pops on this really nice looking um, and I gotta say um, the the details on the figure are also very nice and um, you know if you're gonna have a purple figure this is not a bad way to do it. There are other purple action figures that are just really horrible looking, but Techno Viper I don't mind so much. Uh, so he has some accessories. He has his uh, laser rifle thing, and I kind of imagine this more as like a laser welder or something like that, a tool rather than a weapon. And he's got you know all kinds of wires and hoses all connected to his backpack. Um, and uh, the backpack itself is pretty spectacular because it holds no less than three tools that can all be uh, detached. You pull them out and uh, he can hold each one of them. There we go. That one was snapped in there pretty solidly. And he has three tools and each of them have uh, a peg to fit on the wire that connects it to the backpack. So these are power tools uh, and you can uh, detach each one. And the fact that uh, each of these fits in the backpack is a great bonus. I mean, the ability to uh, uh, store accessories like this is something that we should have gotten more often on G.I. Joe figures and accessories. I really like that a lot. So a lot of details on each of these uh, each of these accessories would be some kind of tool that would, he would use to repair something. Uh, and then the backpack itself is pretty nice. Um, it has a couple different uh, or a couple uh, knobs here to connect these uh, standard black uh, wires that came with a lot of other G.I. Joe action figures. Those are pretty standard. Um, and that connects both to his uh, laser rifle and to the power tool, whichever one you want him to use at any time. Uh, so uh, excellent accessories and appropriate accessories for his job. Uh, and the t details on the figure itself, uh, just removing the accessories so we can look closer at that, uh, just really impressive. I mean, uh, just looking past the purple, I know uh, the purple will not be uh, the favorite of a lot of viewers, but even though I don't mind so much, I mean, just the helmet design is very unique. Uh, lots of detail in like hoses and wires uh, going through his uniform. Who knows what that's used for? Uh, and just uh, overall, very nicely done. I mean, he does look like a technician. Um, uh, he doesn't look like a normal combat troop 
And so um, I really can uh, appreciate the Techno Viper and the role that he was given. Let's go ahead and reattach his accessories because this is a figure that does look best when he has all of his accessories. I mean, he looks very geared up and he should, um, and that kind of fits his role as a technician. Um, so I just think he looks the best when he has all of his technical gear together. Uh, so there he is, Techno Viper. Uh, thank you again to Zartan121 for sending this to me. It it is very much my privilege to receive it, um, and you guys, it's just, it's never necessary for anyone to send me anything. It's, you're not obligated to do that, uh, but when you do it, it just, it, it, I, it really reminds me of how great this community is um, and how much um, you guys mean to me. So thank you again. Uh, th and again, I apologize for not having a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review for you this week. Uh, we will move forward. I will give you the best video that I can every week and uh, thank you again for watching and I'll see you again next time.